G'day guys, Ian from Cookies Critters, and today we're talking about how to trim your bearded dragon's toenails. Now guys, if you are new to this channel, please do us a favour, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and we'll get started just after this intro. Okay guys, so today we are talking about trimming your bearded dragon's toenails. Now there are a few reasons why we do this and the first one for us as a keeper is for our comfort. Now obviously when you are handling your bearded dragon, you don't want them scratching your neck, scratching your arms, you do want the experience to be enjoyable. Now the main reason, probably the most important reason, is in case their toenails haven't been filed down naturally, it prevents the toenails from actually curling over to the point where the bearded dragon can't walk properly. Now guys, there are a lot of people out there that say that your, uh, your regular toenail clippers are fine to use for bearded dragons. Now, when you think about these toenail clippers, they do have a, uh, a straight edge on it and they are made to trim our straight, flat fingernails. Now, I will put a picture of a bearded dragon's toenails and as you can see, they are cylindrical in shape. So therefore, something like a, uh, a dog or a cat toenail clipper is more suited. Now guys, these are inexpensive to buy. If you do have other household pets, then it's an ideal investment anyway. So the main reason why our toenail clippers aren't really that effective is because you are using a flat surface on a round toenail, the risk of cracking that toenail is quite high. Whereas obviously this one here does have a round cutting edge and obviously round on round is gonna give a cleaner and neater cut. So guys, stick around. Later in this video, we are showing you how we do trim a bearded dragon's toenails. But if you are looking for a natural alternative, things like a sand substrate, volcanic rocks, logs, and backgrounds are a great way for your bearded dragon to climb and dig. And this natural behavior also files down their toenails. Now this being said, you will need to do a periodic inspection and conduct some kind of maintenance with their toenails. Obviously, not all toenails will wear down evenly. And along the way, you may also find some breakages that do need to be trimmed up as well. So guys, let's roll into the demonstration how to cut a bit of dragon's toenails. So guys, to do this, simply all you're gonna need is a workbench or a second set of hands to, uh, to hold your bearded dragon. Uh, as I'm flying solo today, I will just be using the bench behind me. So I'm gonna reset this camera and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, so we have a uh, little finger here and he is a hypo translucent bearded dragon. Now the hypo melanistic part means that his fingernails are clear. Now you do need to differentiate what your dragon is and determine if they do have clear nails, if they are hypo, or if they have a, uh, a wild phenotype and they do have the black pigmentation. Now, understanding the uh, anatomy of the toenail will help when it comes time to actually trim the tip. Now, regardless of whether your bearded dragon has clear toenails or whether they have the black pigmentation, the uh, procedure is exactly the same. All we are aiming to do is take the uh, little razor sharp needle tip off the end of the toenail. We aren't cutting into the pigment, we aren't cutting into the actual toe tissue itself. Uh, we are just taking the little pointy needle tip off. Okay guys, so little fingers toenails are in reasonably good condition as he is on a natural substrate, on a sand substrate. The, uh, the, the tips of the toenails are quite well manicured. Uh, there are a few here, like this one in particular, that does have a needle tip on there, and uh, we're gonna use that one as our example to show you how it's done. I will put a picture up here to show you a, uh, a close up of what the toenail looks like. Hey okay, guys, so simply all we need to do is prop up the foot that we are gonna be working on first. We only wanna put the tip of the, uh, the toenail into the clippers, and that is it.
Okay guys, so that is as simple as trimming a bearded dragon's nails is. Now as you can tell, there were a few toenails that I didn't need to clip because the, uh, the overall length of them were, uh, were quite acceptable and we're gonna leave little finger like that for today. What I will do is I will go and get a, uh, a wild type bearded dragon out so that way you can see the difference with the, uh, the black toenails. So guys, we have Rex here. He is a wild type bearded dragon. Uh, a leatherback recessive hypomelanistic. Now, what that means is, yes, he is carrying the hypo gene, but he's not visually hypo. And as we can see, he doesn't like this kind of treatment. Now, as you can see, his toenails do have that black pigmentation. And I've uh, put a picture up here to show you exactly the part that we want to take off and nothing more. Now, because he is squirming around so much and I haven't got an extra set of hands, a, uh, a good way to relax a bearded dragon or a reptile in general is to simply just cover their head. And I have a, uh, a little calico bag here and simply all we need to do is loosely place it over his head. It's nice and dark for him and instantly he calms down. I will have to turn him around for this because I want those rear toenails. So guys, we only had to do a few on the right rear leg as he does have sand substrate and he does enjoy digging. Uh, the, the coarse sand does actually help file the nails down naturally. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That way you're not gonna miss a coming video. Now guys, if you have any questions, if you have any recommendations for future content that you'd like us to create, please do drop them down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, if you got them, keep your beard treated and your beard is heated. <laughs>